Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about a recent discovery of mine uh, here on YouTube, a YouTube channel that has really helped me in getting to the, uh, the root of what is wrong with my crooked, fucked up body a little bit. And I just want to like, keep it relatively brief. I'll put a link uh, to the channel in the description and the pinned comment um, if you want to check it out for yourself. Man named Neil. Uh, I just want to talk about like the biggest takeaways for me. One of the biggest ones is just how connected all this stuff is. When it comes to chronic pain and questions of, you know, what is causing your knee pain? What is causing hip pain? What is causing pain in your shoulder and your rotator cuff? Uh, like all of it, just how connected it all is. I already I knew that for a little while, uh, but just how connected because it really did. It was this gigantic fucking blind spot all this time. There's a fly in here. Uh, all this time, it has been a lack of contact in my molars and, and my canine, like on the left side. That has been the root of all of it, of my fucked up hips, spine, shoulders. A lot of it just it looks to be all of it comes down to that. The fact that when I chew and just I'm in a constant state, like when I bite down, it's always just all of it is at the, on the right side, all the pressure. And it's been that way for years and years. And I've had, you know, TMJ, I've had jaw problems, uh, but it's never really been all that painful. It's never really been like, it doesn't cause like ringing ears. It's always been this thing that's just sort of in the background. And, you know, when something isn't causing you a good deal of pain, it's easy to just kind of push it aside and say, okay, I guess I just have a, a fucked up jaw, whatever, I'll, I'll address it uh, later on if it, if it ever gets to that point. But I just, I just, I have fucked up jaw genetics, I don't know. That's, that's just been my sort of uh, approach. But yeah, it's been really, really tight all this time on the right side. Like my right jaw is in this constant state. And when I open my mouth, it'll fucking like, you know, it'll like pop that way. And that's not good. Um, and it turns out that's been causing me. So when you don't bite down on your... I'll link a video if you want to just hear it from the guy who actually knows what he's talking about. But when you don't bite down on like for over years and years of time, you're constantly on this side, you're not gonna, you're gonna lose sense, you're gonna lose sensation in your left uh, heel, and you're, just, you're not gonna be sensing the ground very well at all. And when you walk, you should, um, if you have this particular problem, you'll be able to tell, like just how, for me, you know, my right hip comes forward way more, and my right leg is just like turned inward, and I'm really fucked up. And I've been like this for years and it's been manageable, but only because I'm really, I've been incredibly rigorous about like treatment, like treat, treating the chronic pain through consistent like stretches and strengthening movements. But that's only been treating the actual, like the pain itself. It's just been treating it. It's just been like keeping it at bay, but it's constantly there. It's just, it helps a lot with the severity of it, but it's, it doesn't get to the actual root of what is wrong. And I've always just figured that, well, I'm just, I'm irreparably fucked up physically. I just, I have to just cope with it. But it turns out that's maybe not the case. It doesn't look to be because over the last few weeks, I've been, you know, focusing on tongue posture, having the tongue to the roof of the mouth entirely uh, through like your mouth creates this natural suction, holds your tongue uh, to the roof and at first it feels really weird like i can only get like to the tip of my tongue to the it, it didn't feel quite right but the um having like a retainer that i stopped wearing a long time ago because i thought that it was only for like cosmetic you know like just purely i didn't really like oh my teeth are straight enough fuck it and i just stopped wearing it but it turns out it's helpful for a lot more than just that because uh, when i wear that then it, it does help a great deal with just keeping it more aligned in terms of, you know, how I'm biting down <clears throat> and stuff. Um, but yeah, like the biggest takeaways being just how connected this all is. And yeah, like if you stand, if you're standing and if you're like me, you put the vast majority of your weight on the right side. Also, breathing is a really good one. It's important to breathe, we, we naturally have like a bigger right diaphragm, like right side of the, when you breathe, the rib cage fucking 
suffocates the uh, the right. So you're not really. I was in. I was shallow breathing. I was neck breathing. It is what it's called for a while, and it's not good. You got to breathe into that right side. You got to get that that rib cage opened up more on the right side, and um, and this shoulder is always like come forward, and I'm just. Yeah, uh, so I guess the summary of the video would be to watch one of his videos and, and go down the rabbit hole like I went down because it's been, it's been illuminating. If, if this relates, if you relate to any of these sorts of issues, like if you have a pretty asymmetrical body, if you walk a little bit funky, if you're, if you're tight predominantly on the right side and you just, you just don't feel quite right, uh, because... The other thing I want to talk about is just how fucking incompetent uh, many, I mean, no hate, no shade, but it's the case that like a lot of physical therapists and chiropractors and doctors in general, they'll just, you know, try to treat your pain. They won't even bother to try to get to the root of what might be wrong with you. And the comments underneath many of his videos, I mean, that's the consensus is just like years and years and years of severe chronic pain worse than I have had, I'm sure, for many of them, and just, yeah, been to chiropractors, been to physical therapists, and they're told the same thing, like, oh, if you have, well, shoulder pain, you have a fucked up shoulder, you need to just do these exercises for your shoulder, and it's just, you're just treating the pain, but you're not actually solving anything, you're not getting to the root of, of what the problem is, and, you know, when it cases of chronic pain, especially if there isn't a, a specific injury that you can point towards as being like, okay, well, that's the cause. Like, because that wasn't really the case with me. I've had injuries, but none of them being all that severe. And like, I did think that that, like a knee injury that I've had in the past might have been the thing that was causing my fucked up. But it, it doesn't look to be because now it's improving a great deal after having addressed, you know, addressing these, these things that he talks about in the videos. Um... But yeah, many, many doctors will just really quick to just get you out of there. They don't really care. Many don't care. I, I know it's talked about plenty. It's said a lot. But yeah, many doctors don't give a fuck about even just doing a good job. Like even just a, a, a pat on the back of like, oh, you know, I, I was able to competently use my skills to let alone like, oh, I was able to help improve someone's quality of life so that they can return to work and not be anywhere near as miserable as they otherwise would be, as they have been for years of their lives. So it's just, I, I feel pretty bitter about, about doctors and stuff, but many of them care. It's just that a lot of them don't. <laughs> a lot of them really don't. Um, it's, it's just a paycheck. It's just a, a status sort of thing, and that's, that's unfortunate. But um, I will link in the description and the pinned comment and um yeah good stuff shout out to neil really good stuff uh and hopefully it becomes more widely known because who who knows like how common of a of a root cause that is you know i had braces when i was like uh 13 14 and i think a lot of that is what really and it was good, I mean, because I was, my teeth were pretty fucked up. I, ne I needed them, it looked like, but I probably wouldn't have needed them if I would have known about, you know, say, proper tongue posture. I think I was a, a mouth breather when I was growing up, and um, I still am when I sleep. I need to improve on that for sure, because mouth breathing isn't all that good for proper functioning of the... Uh, everything really it's 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 a bad habit nose breathing and not just breathing through the nose but yeah i'm sure like if you look back on these videos especially the standing ones that i've been recording more recently i'm constantly like standing kind of off like this and my right is kind of coming forward like that and i'm kind of like leaning in and that's why it's because i'm fucked up physically uh, and now I can just tell, like, the, um, I'm sensing the ground a hell of a lot more now on my left side. My right shoulder feels more back in a, in a position that's more natural. Um, and my neck, you know, because your neck does, 
He talks about the patterns that your body gradually gets into uh, when you have these sorts of issues. And it just, yeah, it runs throughout the entire thing. It's just, it's so odd. That's the weirdest thing about it. The fact that, you know, jaw issues and misaligned teeth, and, you know, just not sensing the, uh, the left canines, the left molars can cause you to have knee pain and hip pain and also digestive issues because you can also fuck with the vagus nerve. It can become impinged and it'll just, you know, it'll fuck up all sorts of shit. Um, so it's, yeah, it's just, it's, it's pretty odd. The fact that you can have, you know, the root cause can be something that you just, you, you never would have guessed. And it's good that this is being talked about more often. And I guess that's it. That's the end of this rambly uh, little video. And I will keep, I don't know, I'll probably upload similar videos in the future. I'm very fascinated by it in general. And it would be cool to learn more about all the, the details. But yeah, it's, it's, I can tell that it's helping a lot. And I bet that it'll probably, uh, I mean, hopefully in a couple of months, I'll be back to bench pressing with a barbell and that's something I haven't been able to do since I was like fucking 17. That's when I, I had to stop. Um, that's when the pain really started because I was benching with a barbell and I was making, you know, fast progress and it felt really good. And then I had to stop a few months in just because the right side was incredibly tight and coming forward. And I tried to, you know, like the mind muscle connection, trying to just, you know, let, use the left side a little more, but it, um, it's very limited when you have this particular issue it's not just a matter of you know focus more on the left side like you physiologically neurologically you can't you can't just try it's uh yeah he talks about it in great detail i would recommend that you you check it out if it's something that you have interest in and i will be doing some of that and i hope everyone's having a fantastic day and goodbye